Have you ever wondered how to thrive in an uncertain world? Today, we're diving into the concept of anti-fragility, inspired by the Hydra from Greek mythology. This legendary beast grew stronger with each challenge, sprouting two heads for everyone cut off. Similarly, anti-fragile systems don't just survive adversity, they flourish. They use disruptions as fuel, converting trials into triumphs. In an unpredictable world, becoming anti-fragile is the key to resilience and growth. Just as the Hydra grew stronger with each battle, so can you by embracing anti-fragility. To understand anti-fragility, consider the process of evolution. This remarkable phenomenon is a testament to life's inherent anti-fragility. Species over generations adapt to their environments, learning from failures and successes. These experiences aren't just obstacles or achievements, they're priceless information that helps species improve, survive and thrive. Now imagine applying this principle to your personal growth. What if you viewed every setback, every challenge, not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone towards becoming a better version of yourself? This is the essence of anti-fragility. The process is akin to sculpting. Each chip, each scrape, although it may seem like a loss, is actually a gain. It's a process of refinement, of chiseling away the unnecessary, the fragile, to reveal the strong, the resilient, the anti-fragile. Embrace a constant state of trial and error and you'll sculpt the best version of yourself. Life's stresses and shocks aren't your enemies, they're your allies. When we view life through the lens of anti-fragility, we understand that stresses and shocks act as catalysts for growth. Just as a muscle strengthens through exertion and rest, anti-fragile systems gain from adversity. They don't just survive, they thrive under pressure. They overcompensate, adding more capacity than necessary to handle future challenges. Contrary to what you might expect, tranquil environments breed fragility. If a system is not tested, it won't know its limits. It won't build the capacity to withstand shocks. This is where anti-fragility and volatility intertwine. Anti-fragility thrives on volatility. It feeds on randomness and uncertainty, turning them into opportunities for growth. So if you want to cultivate anti-fragility in your life or your business, you must learn to dance with volatility. Don't just accept it grudgingly. Embrace it, harness its power. To become anti-fragile, you must not only accept volatility, but embrace it. In the world of anti-fragility, timing is everything. Just as a seasoned surfer catches the perfect wave, successful traders leverage volatility. They don't necessarily predict the market's ebb and flow, but rather seize opportunities as they arise. It's about riding the wave of change, not controlling the ocean. In a similar vein, think of a juggler. The art isn't in predicting where each ball will land, but in being prepared to catch and throw at the right time. This is the essence of anti-fragility, making the most of the unpredictable rather than trying to tame it. Now let's talk about risk. It's an inevitable part of life and anti-fragility doesn't involve avoiding it. Instead, it's about managing it, learning from it, and even benefiting from it. It's about being prepared for the unexpected, turning volatility into an advantage. Chance doesn't just favor the lucky, it favors the prepared. Our modern world is becoming increasingly anti-fragile. Large organizations with their expansive resources and diversification are often better equipped to absorb unexpected crises. They have the capacity to overcompensate, to build in redundancy, and to grow from the experience becoming more robust. Interconnected fields such as finance provide another example. They create a shield against accountability, a buffer that allows them to weather shocks and stresses, to learn, adapt, and become stronger. This, of course, has its flip side. It can lead to complacency, to an underestimation of risk, and to the potential for larger systemic failures. And herein lies one of the dangers of modern thinking. We've become so enamored with tranquility, with predictability, that we've forgotten the value of volatility. We've built systems designed to remove volatility, to smooth out the bumps. But when we do this, we often just push the problems down the road, where they accumulate and can explode with catastrophic consequences like the Fukushima nuclear reactor incident. It's a stark reminder that seeking to eliminate volatility can lead to fragility. Instead, we should embrace the unexpected, the unpredictable. We should welcome the stresses and shocks that help us grow, adapt and become more resilient. Anti-fragility is not just a concept, it's a way of life that can help us thrive in an uncertain world.